Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Royal White Star Brussels. In the series we call the All Stars, it is a football manager save, as I said, with Royal White Star Brussels. And today I bring to you a bit more of a bog standard episode, in that it's just literally play a game and look at the results and a few transfers. So let's talk about the new signings, because there are some. Not not many signings, they're loan deals, but it still counts. Joining us from Manchester City on a season-long loan is striker Jose Angel Pozo. Now, of course, Pozo made a couple of appearances for Manchester City in real life last season in the Cup, uh, but it still counts. Uh, and he will be an asset for our team, as you can see. 13 finishing, 11 composure, probably the best of our strikers. Now, his stats don't look phenomenal, but there's very a couple there that are quite well-rounded. Obviously, stuff like uh, like anticipation, concentration, quite high as well. The technique at 15 was very, very pleasing as well, as well, as, well as 12 passing. He certainly fits our system that we're trying to play. Um, so, very, very happy to have him in the squad on a season-long loan, paying none of his wage. And the other signing on loan is Thomas Wadish. Uh, he is a Belgian winger who joins us on loan from fellow second division club Alst. Uh, he is a backup midfielder. Um, there was an injury to our number one, El Hani, I believe. Um, so he will be probably starting on the left hand side. I think he is a homegrown player. Looks very decent. Got some good stats. 12 pace, 12 crossing, 12 acceleration, 12 technique. Um, certainly they're sort of the main stats I'd look for uh, in a winger. But stuff like maybe his passing lets him down only being 7. Um, but he looks like he could be a decent player nonetheless. Decent work rate. Hopefully he can get up and down the wing quite well. With the formation we're playing we're going to need him to cover quite a lot on the left flank. So happy to bring him in. Loan deal. Only paying £90 per week for him uh, and that is his wage so not too shabby if I say so myself so since I last saw you then we have had quite a few games now obviously I saw you in the last episode which you should go watch but we had a 2-2 draw with Giel or Giel or I still don't know but someone tell me it means yellow and I'm thinking what the hell Dutch and Belgian people why the hell does it mean yellow that how does that look like you have a strange language to me very alien but then again all languages are alien to me because I'm not multilinguistic uh, or oh, I speak German ambition mein Deutsch ist nicht sehr gut um, but we be oh that's that's not what I wanted to do that's not what I wanted to do either we dr uh, beat <laughs> we, we drew with Yupin 3-0 yes Jordan that makes 100% sense uh, we beat Yupin 3-0 what's quite sad actually is that we have an 11,000 seat stadium and we're drawing not even 10% of that that's quite demoralizing However, what wasn't was a 3-0 victory. Goals from Musa Traore, Jeff Rentmeister and Jonathan Kinderman's 3-0 uh, victory. Lovely stuff. Musa Traore, um, in the system that we're working with, actually we changed it uh, after that one-all draw uh, that came against Serang uh, United, uh, where they got a last-minute goal. And I don't think really it was um, a fair result, given the game. No, we absolutely were the better team. More shots, more, more possession. Um, but they got a late goal and we switched off, unfortunately. Uh, but I switched to a new system for this game. Uh, one that involved both Musa Traore and Jose Angel Pozo up front. And we beat Lyra, who I have no idea who they are. Who I did actually read as Lycra. And I thought, why are they some sort of weird, like, weird material that, like, people wear for morph suits? Um, but but it's not. Um, but we beat them. Comfortable. Free on victory. Into the fifth round. Is that is that good? I don't quite know. Uh, judging by that. No, we've got quite a few rounds left to go. Uh, we then beat Tornai, um, who you'd think in a Tawny would be better, but they weren't. Uh, Fauna victory. Goals from Medi, Medi Korsnord. Maybe. Jeffrey Rentmeister and Mamadou Fall was, uh, saw us in this game. Very good, confident 4 0 performance from us. Um, got the goals. Lovely stuff. We then unfortunately did lose a, a, a league game to STVV. And it was really the ultimate collapse. We went in 1 0 at half time thanks to a goal from Jose Angel Pozo. Um, but, you know, we, we, we conceded three in a, you know, we, we went 3 1 down. Then Rentmeister got sent off. We then went 4 1 down, got one back. And then the guy who scored the penalty on loan from. Uh, Zoit Veregum got sent off himself. So that was um, certainly a very strange series of events. Um, but, you know, we move on because we did win our next two games. 3-1. Uh, goals from Traore, Diop and Ben Gulen. Uh, but uh, a, a consolation for uh, Mekelen uh, from Paulo da Silva. Uh, but, you know, 11 shots to 10. It was quite an even game. But we did keep keep the ball quite well, which is especially pleasing, as I said. Um, but a good win, nonetheless. You know, we've had a very, a very decent start. Um, and then a 2-0 victory over two beats 
um, thanks to goals from <laughs> two defenders scored actually Jeremy Hergebert I have no idea if I've said that right. And Jeffrey Rentmeister got the goals. 2-0 uh, performance. Uh, again, quite a close game, but we're getting the goals, and that's all that matters. And you'll notice that Jeffrey Rentmeister's been scoring a lot of goals, but he's actually our penalty taker. Well, he didn't score there. Um, but he, he's also... Jeffrey Rentmeister has got a, a, a very select bunch of skills. He's a centre-back um, that has 14 headings, so he's deadly from corners in this division. So we're whipping it at the near post, trying to get him to flick it on or to try and pop it in the back of the net. He's also got 15 penalty taking, and it's the highest in our team. So that's really quite weird. So the fact that he's, I think, our top scorer with five goals in three games and four in seven in all competitions is uh, re really quite something. So quite happy with, with that. Um, but I suppose now I should talk uh, a little bit about well, where we are in the league, we are sick. Three wins, two draws, one loss. Um, we are four points behind OHL and three points behind Antwerp. Uh, to I believe our next game, it's actually I think yeah, quite it's actually quite a way away actually. We've got about uh, seven, no, eight, six days. Um, we've got uh, Verton who are in fourth. So that could be an interesting game on the same amount of points as us, um, but have uh, a little bit better goal difference. But um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. But as I said, you know, not 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 a bad start. You know, more wins than than losses, which is you know certainly important at this stage. We've got a decent team, and we should be finishing in and around this. But uh, I think top four is where we want to be because I believe second to fifth, actually, so maybe top five. I believe then play in the uh, the playoff for possible promotion. So we'll have a look at that playoff for possible promotion. There's a lot of P's there. Um, oh, what is that called? I don't know what it's called. I was going to say it's um, it's similar. Oh, no, what is it called? Lots of P's. Nah, my English language skills have disappeared um, at this time. But uh, the tactic then, we've gone 4-2-2-2, or attacking 4-4-2, uh, with a ball in uh, midfielder. We're actually, we were n we were playing a roaming playmaker, but uh, due to Paolo Khan and Hinchdoza being suspended and then out with... Um, and then out on international duty, we just sort of dropped it to a centre midfielder. We'll see how it works in the next couple of games. Um, but at the moment, it seems to be decent. Uh, we're playing two wings on support uh, with, with a deep line forward on attack. Hopefully that means that... Uh, Playing someone like Pozo there means he can utilise both his passing attributes and his finishing attributes to get goals and assists. And then we've got Musa Traore up front, who's uh, actually had a pretty decent start to the season as well, actually. The uh, Burkina Faso, yeah, Burkina Faso striker. Three goals in five games. Very, very impressive to say he only scored seven uh, with Hoog Stratton last time uh, he was in this division. So... You know, we've got a decent team, decent system, uh, really the same instructions, seeing how it works, um, and, and it's currently doing the business just about, although a couple of international duty people hope they get back soon. Um, now, what else was I going... I think I was going to talk about one more thing, but I, I, I can't quite remember what it was. Um, so, it looks like we'll be moving on. The finances. Uh, we're in the red a little bit, um, but it, it's it's not the end of the world. You know, we're 300 grand in debt. Um, but we are starting to have to pay back loans, so we're going to have to try and start making money a bit more. But as I said, I think, I don't know about prize money, I don't know what the prize money's like. Uh, it, there isn't any. Mm, beautiful. Um, oh dear. Um, so yeah, we might need to get promoted, is what I'm saying. And try and attract more fans, get more bums on seats. Um, which might be easier said than done. But... Yeah, I'm going to look for a player now because I promised Mr. Matt Zidane that I would. So we're going to look at Toby Tits areas. Plays for OHL under 19. What a name, by the way, Toby Tits. Uh, you may have I may have mentioned him before in the World Network games. We'll give him a quick scout report just to please Matt Zidane, my Scottish ass man. Um, and that is that, I believe. I think that's everything i got to do. Yeah, all right. I'll see you for a match unless something interesting happens. Cause we've got six days. You know, there might there might be an injury. So I might come back and be like, yeah, I've just lost my legs. Like, what do you mean you've lost your legs? Like, well, I put it down. I don't know where it's gone. Um, but yeah, madness. Uh, actually, I should actually talk injuries. Actually, are something that I really need to talk about quickly. Uh, if we look at the injury table, we're quite up there. Five injuries. We've got Karim Hani, our left winger, out with a broken ankle for the next two months. Uh, so that's really really annoying because he's one of our best he's really one of our better player lots of you know good attributes in there um such as you know uh, his, his, his physicals for one are very good um crossing was decent dribbling decent technique decent but he's out now so which is um annoying and it's been out for a long time we've got uh, thomas mintart who's not really uh a key player but he is out nonetheless with a uh, bruised thigh uh we have wilfried damart who's a right winger who is actually quite decent as well out for six to ten days. Look, it's not too long. Uh, one that is out for quite long is uh, Guy Ambrosi. Ambrosia, I don't know. I mean, Sam Ambro Ambrosi, Ambrose, something like that. But I I'm going to call him Ambrosia because you know, as uh, my friend Kenji said, 
why not bring a bit of English custard to the Belgian waffle? And I and I just think that's brilliant. Also, what the hell? Hey, he's a Haiti player. Oh my god, that's quite interesting. And Amadi Diop is also out. So we've been hit by injuries. A few coming back, but a couple of two long-term injuries. Um, and we may not see them in a right white star shirt for a little bit of time. Uh, but that but that's fine. We've got a decent squad. Quite a few numbers, as you can see. Uh, the the core of the squad is certainly better than average. Here we go then, game time. We are in the red, playing our 4-4-2 or 4-2-2-2, uh, whichever one you prefer to say. But we're going to start with Daniel Backman on loan from Stoke, uh, Frederick De Poix, Jeffrey Rentmeister, I think it's Eunice, uh, Bengaloon, uh, Mihubi, Ekameng, no, Ikanga, Mene, Hinnerstroza, Hornord, Wadish, Traore and Pozo. I think that's a very good team. Um, obviously, putting the Roman playmaker has Instroza is back from international duty with Peru, actually fit enough to play as well, which is quite interesting. Um, and they are lining up 4 1 2 2 1. Uh, none of the players I've ever heard of. So we move on, but that is their formation. Get them, the dude, to do the, the thing. Yep, great commentary there, Jordan. You didn't just like have a stroke. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what just happened. I just couldn't get words out at that point. I just couldn't process information. Um, but they're they they they're kicking off. No, is that no 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 no? They're they're, they're de Poix is uh, not our de Poix. Um, but uh, they they're looking a little bit Welsh because of the colours green, uh, white and red, which are actually their colours. So it does kind of make sense. But um, whereas we are obviously in the pure red and we should have been one 0 down and it was almost time to blaze it. But uh, he blazed it wide, unfortunately, for Verton. Not unfortunately for me, though. I'm quite happy with that because, obviously, I don't want to see the opposition score. Um, that quite makes sense, actually, when you think about it. Um, but, no, not so far, not so good. No highlights in the first half, but we've not played particularly well. I, I, I think our midfield is really letting us down, as you can see. Um, other than Hinnerstroza, uh, uh, all the players playing less than a 6, well, 6 6.5 or less... Uh, we really need to hopefully, you know, inspire something in the second half. We're going to make one change on Kevin uh, Nakache, um, who's actually been decent when he's come on. Hopefully he can have a better role, hopefully protect the defence a little bit better um, and not give them too many chances. And if we can score from a corner straight after half-time, Jeffrey Rentmeister with the flick on and Eunice, or your, yeah, Eunice, uh, Belagoon, or Belagoon, I, I just said the same thing twice and expected it to come out differently, uh, but it didn't. But 1-0 to the White Star, get in. No, we won't only be the White Stars, soon we'll be the All-Stars. We're playing in the middle of a field, apparently, uh, with one or two Burger Vans. I mean, you can't forget the Burger Vans, boys. They're the best feature. All four fans have gone into raptures. They're, they're happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Are you happy? You better be, because we've just bloody scored, lads. Come on. Get... Woo! Get... Come on, energy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Uh, nothing else has happened in this game so far. Up to the hour mark. Maybe a change for me. Uh, and I might take off one of our wingers. We've not really done the business today. Wadish, not so much. I don't, actually, I don't really have the players to replace. Although, I could actually replace Wadish actually quite easily. If I bring on Jeremy Hergebe. I know you're thinking, Jordan, he's a le he's a centre-back. Yeah, but he can, play left he can play left mid ever so slightly. So why not? Why not? Have a defensive-minded left attacking midfielder. I It's changed... It's, when you, when you, when you, just when you think you know the answers, I change the questions. That's a quote from that wrestler who died, unfortunately. Rip. That's actually me being sincere. Actually, seriously, it's never, never mock death. Generally, that's, that's good. it's quite like normal social etiquette, isn't it? But uh, right, let's see. Uh, Inestros is looking tired, and we're covering on Medubi. Although I'm not too sure of that I might replace Musa Traore with Michael Tambrak and move Pozo into the deep line forward and I mean I said I was going to start him there and then I didn't uh, I put him up front but he's not got the goal but it's been a one maybe one goal has seen us win this game and it's perhaps came against the run of play because in the first half Verton were much the better team but it doesn't matter we took our chance from the set piece and have come out 1-0 winners so lads that will do me fine I mean, I don't know about you because it wasn't the most exciting live com in the world there was more I spent more time Talk, talking about Toby Tits than we actually spent playing a match. And I'm actually fine with that. We are up to third. It's been a good start. Four wins, two draws, one defeat. And uh, we're, look, we're looking on the up. I mean, I'll probably see you now. I mean, we've got that KV Mickelen. Obviously, we did play in a friendly and lost. So, I mean, that could be an interesting game to play, um, even though it is just around the corner. Um, so, I might play that one. 
Um, oh, oh, although we do have OHL not too far away, who are top of the table and look to be uh, a real, you know, big team. And obviously, oh, we could actually do OHL and Antwerp like in the same in the same video. I mean, because obviously both of them first and second. We could possibly do that. I'm, I'll, I'm sure you'll find out when I upload probably tomorrow. But uh, until then, you're going to have to wait in suspense. But I would like to thank you very much for watching. You have been awesome as per usual. Much love. I'm doing a heart. I'm doing the Gareth Bale. You can't see it because I don't film myself because I don't think it adds much to the video. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. It's time to go. What do you do when the milk goes stale? You drink it. I mean, you got to get your money's worth now, haven't you?